So Fergus, let's uh, introduce Dr. Yusuf. You do a much better job at this. Um, he, he really needs no introduction to the world. He's been on uh, TV ministry longer than I've been in the ministry. And everyone knows him, uh, but still, uh, do your best to, to make him feel welcome today. Oh, that's a wonderful war world. This is an easy one because, brothers and sisters, when I was a younger man first coming to know the Lord, Dr. Michael Yosef was preaching on TV when I was living in South Florida at the time. And each and every day he'd come into my little flat where we were living at the time and bring the truth of God's word, wanting to disciple believers in the things of God, believing that the Lord will minister to us in each and every way. And on behalf of us here in the UK, Dr. Michael has a real passion for the things of God here in the UK. So we celebrate all his ministry. So Ward Simpson and indeed all the God TV family, welcome to the broadcast today. Dr. Michael Yosef from Leading the Way Ministries. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be with you and see you both again. And I'm delighted for the opportunity for us to partner together in the gospel ministry in these last days because the Scripture gives us certain signs, and we're seeing them now. Uh, apostasy is rampant, at least in the West, while at the same time God is raising an army of believers from among the Muslim world, millions of people coming to Christ. So we see so many of the signs that Jesus gives us in Matthew 24. And therefore, the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ today is far more urgent than all the 70, almost 73 years that I've been around. And I believe with all my heart, our partnership is very significant, very important. Well, that's powerful. Dr. Yusuf, uh, thank you again, as Fergus said, and amen, amen to that. Um, my sister actually used to attend your church when she lived in, um, in Buckhead, Atlanta, so we're familiar. We have a number of partners that um, also partner with your ministry, and we just want you to know on behalf of all the God TV family around the world, uh, we don't take it lightly that you have um, agreed to join us on the God TV platform and we uh, want to do everything in our power to help you, to partner with you, and to work with you. Uh, but Dr. Youssef, right away, we have uh, people watching right now who are in lockdown again. Uh, things have not changed. You know, people are always looking for a new word. Uh, from 2020, all the words that all the alleged prophets gave were not right. And um, we love the prophetic. We're not knocking it. We're just saying they weren't right. And in 2021, you know, they're trying to prophesy again, but we're just... We haven't seen any difference from 2020 to 2021, but at God TV, we're saying we don't need a new word. Our word is to go into all the world and preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And that's exactly right. You see, that is why the early Christian leaders, the early Christian fathers, has this word, canon. Canon is really an Arabic word originally, and it comes from a measurement stick. You measure everything by the Word of God. When somebody comes and says something to me in a word of prophecy, word of knowledge, or whatever it may be, that is not consistent with the Word of God, is not measured by the Word of God, then I will not listen to it. And so we take everything by, measure everything by the Word, by the canon of the Scripture. The Word of God, God has spoken completely and fully in Jesus Christ. He revealed Himself. In fact, Christmas Eve service here in Atlanta, I wore a mask. And um, when I greeted the people, I took the mask off and I said, on Christmas Day, God unmasked Himself in the person of Jesus Christ. And He told us what He's about, what He is like, uh, His character, his nature, fully revealed in Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, he who has seen me, seen the Father. And so we really have everything. And that is why I like the idea of being uh, the Word and Spirit. I tell people, how can you separate me as an author from my book that I have authored? You see, the Scriptures, the Word of God, uh, from Genesis to the maps, <laughs> is ordered, authored by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit authored His Word. So His Word 
is, is what we have. And he works to bring those words that may be called on a paper to come alive in us. As you have shared, Ward, how God used his, in a, the scripture says that we were dead in our trespasses and sin. And then he came and he revived us. He woke us up from, the, from dead, actually, not just sleep, dead. And so that is what the Word and the Spirit, the author of his own words, comes in and speak his own words into our lives and give and quicken us, uh, awaken us uh, from, our, from uh, the, the sleep of death in order to recognize that we are sinners and we're heading for hell and we desperately need the Savior. And so when we come to the Savior submitting to him, under his authority, living in obedience out of gratitude, not fear, but gratitude for that incredible grace, salvation, and mercy that he has given us. And so that is the walk with Christ. That is the, when, when once you revived, I have never known anybody who's truly was reached by the power of God's Holy Spirit, eyes, spiritual eyes open and recognize that he's a sinner or she's a sinner, need Christ, Christ come into their life, and then they regret it. I said, oh, I, I wish I didn't do that. I have not met anybody after 67 trips around the world. I've not met anyone who would say that. And so this is the greatest privilege we have, and that is the greatest me message that he has given us to proclaim to the nations. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Um, Dr. Yusuf, you know, we have uh, viewers that are watching right now and life, um, life as they know it has not come back to normal. And we've been, we've been saying that, you know, don't ever expect normal. There's a new normal. Um, change is upon you and you have to embrace change. If you resist it, you'll get left behind. Embrace the change and, and see what God is doing in your life. But God is certainly doing some shaking around the world and he's shaking the body yep. of believers as well. How can you speak into our viewers, this individual that's watching and there's a shaking going on and they are not understanding and they may be resisting. <laughs> but that's good. That is wonderful. Instead of fearing, the Bible said, lift up your heads because the day of redemption is drawing nigh. When you see that shaking, you see God is preparing his bride. And, and, and Christ is not going to come to a harlot. He's going to come to a, a bride who's longing for his return. So in my, at least that's a personal opinion. I think the separation between sheep and goats, separation between wheat and chaff has begun. And this COVID-19 is really instrument, God did not create it, but it is an instrument in the hand of God to galvanize the genuine, true believers in the Lord Jesus Christ from those who are fair-weather Christians, if you like. And in the West, particularly in America, as you know, Ward and uh, Fergie, uh, you know, the, there are a lot of social Christians, have been for years. And that separation is a great thing. I do not fear it. I don't worry about it. I am rejoicing in it. And because of the lockdown, we were able to reach more people, millions of people, more than any previous five years combined. And so we're seeing the power of the gospel working in the midst of these trials. And, and I believe God is going to manifest himself more as he purifies his church to be the remnant, the faithful remnant. And as he shakes, it's like uh, my friend Pat Robinson some years ago said, when, when the shaking takes place, all the rotten fruit is going to fall uh, to the ground. And, uh, and you see, that's okay. That is really wonderful. We should be rejoicing and we should be anticipating and awaiting the return of Christ. Now, there's some people like my friend R.T. Kindle said that they're going to be a revival before the return of Christ. That's great. But that revival is going to be within the believers. They're going to purify the believers in order that they will be ready and calling upon the name of the Lord. And the Lord will show up in the clouds and then rapture his church to heaven as we join together with the saints who have 
gone ahead of us and before us. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, you can see uh, Dr. Youssef twice a week on God TV now, Saturdays and Sundays. It began on the 16th, and uh, we're so privileged and thrilled to have a teacher of the Word of God. Here's a little promo of uh, Leading the Way with Dr. Youssef. A brand new show is coming to God TV, Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. Join Dr. Youssef as he unpacks biblical truth and applies it to our lives today. Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef, premiering on January 16th. We're so excited to have Dr. Youssef with us now um, twice a week on God TV, as well as with us right now. We've been praying with our viewers, Fergus. We've been ministering to them every day. We had a wonderful time of prayer um, just a few days ago, um, saying exactly what Dr. Youssef has been saying, get back to the canon, get back to the Word of God. Um, sometimes we have to go backwards, not go forwards. You know, get back to the creed. We know what the early disciples really believe. Just get back to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So, Fergus, I know you must have a hundred questions for Dr. Yusuf. I don't want to take all the time up. So I, I'm going um, to I'm just, you. I'm, Ward, I'm just loving this. It is such an honor to me just to sit and listen to you guys and to realize a man who served the Lord for so many years is serving in purity and truth. Actually, I do have a question. And Dr. Michael, it's simply this. If our viewers have been... Well, we can call it worn out by COVID, but have really struggled to stay strong in their faith. How can they return to their first love? How can they assure that they are the sheep and not the goats, that they're the wheat and not the chaff? Well, this is a good time to do that, actually. When you're all alone, uh, we have uh, one of uh, our great musicians and artists, um, uh, Mac Powell, who leads our worship. Uh, former uh, lead singer of uh, Third Day. And he was sharing with the pastoral staff uh, on the church yesterday. He said, when I got COVID, he said, I thought, oh, great, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. But he said the isolation was really hard to take. But then he began to realize by the third day, because he couldn't be, come near his family and so forth, but then he began, what an amazing time of intimacy with God and his word and in time of praise and worship and adoration and studying of the word of God. And so God can use what Satan meant for evil. He can turn it around and use it for good. If you realize that you belong to Jesus, and here's what Jesus said, those who belong to me, those whom the Father has given me, I will lose none. <laughs> Even if you try, you, you personally try, you cannot get out of the hand of God. I know in my life, even after I surrendered my life to Christ to have a similar testimony to Ward, and I kind of wandered off, uh, you know, my mother died and I was 16, just literally a year after I gave my life to Christ, uh, 17, I guess, and uh, the devil tricked me and said, you know, how can God love you and you lose your mother? And, and then I fell for that trap and I wandered away for a little while. And, and those were miserable a few months of running away from the Lord. But, you know, <laughs> God is not going to make a life of sin to be enjoyable for his own children. He's going to make it miserable until you turn back and come to him because Again, Jesus said, those whom the Father has given me, I lose not. You got, he's so jealous. You know, some people don't understand. When God said jealous, he is, that, that is his love, it's his protective love. Just like I would be jealous of watching you know, my wife uh, being hurt by somebody else and I stand, uh, I wouldn't do anything. About it. No, that's my jealousy will come in to protect my wife. That's how... God the Father protects his bride, the church, the believers. And we talk about the church in general. But every believer, known personally, individually, by God, by name, he knows more details about our lives than we know ourselves. So we are in the very palms of his hand. And no one, not Satan, 
not the world, not the flesh, not nothing shall separate us from the love of God. So I want to encourage the believers to know that they are safe in the, in the hand of God. And regardless of what circumstances they may be facing, God will turn these circumstances for good, for their good, and for his glory. If you just keep focusing on him, uh, keep looking to him, and keep trusting him. You know, I, I, I'm just living, I, I don't want to sound like I'm careless <laughs> because we I have a lot of friends, family members, all got COVID. Uh, I traveled overseas. We did a huge meetings in Egypt and, and, and uh, uh, you know, it was pre-Christmas things and we celebrated at, at, it was on national television, uh, even, in, even in Egyptian television. And so I, I said, look, I am as... I'm safer in the hand of the Lord in the middle of the battlefield than I am out of the will of God in my bedroom. And so fear is not of God. It's of the devil. Paul makes it very clear. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of courage and self-control, love and self-control. So I want to encourage people to just look up and, and be prepared because I think God is going to do some great and mighty things either his return or just prior to his return. Praise God. Um, you know, you said so much profound stuff there. We've been encouraging everyone to keep the faith and to keep their focus and to keep their footed, to stand and then stand again and to stand on the word of God. And uh, Dr. Michael, we have prayer requests that have come in from all around the world. Many are praying for their health, for loved ones, they're praying for provision. Uh, a couple of days ago, we had a program on the 23rd Psalm where we, remember, we reminded everyone that the Lord is our shepherd. Uh, this is not a passage just for a funeral. This is a passage for life. The Lord is your shepherd today. He is your provider. He is your healer. He is your deliverer. His rod and his staff, they are there to comfort you. And um, so as they are sending in their prayer requests, we are praying for them. And I was wondering if you could take a moment uh, just to speak to them. Sure. And as the Spirit leads you, whatever you believe is laid on your heart, just to share with them, encourage them, pray for them. Just um, minister as you feel led, sir. Thank you. I'm glad I'm looking forward to the opportunities of constantly partnering together down the road for the future, because I think this is one of the things that are going to happen in the end times, that the believers, the, the genuine believers, the remnant of Jesus Christ, are going to be united in spirit and in truth. And so the, the, these are very, very significant days we're living in. And uh, I want to just speak to the person who's living in fear. God has not given us that spirit. That's from the devil. And you must not succumb to it. Get out the word of God. Trust God. Take his promises seriously. If there are conditional promises, meet those conditions. If there are unconditional promises, then you can claim them uh, today. And you bless the Lord for saving you. I mean, that if I tell people, if, if nothing else happens, my salvation is is worth everything. And Jesus himself said, what can profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? So the fact that our souls are saved, and if your soul have not been saved, you can come to Christ now. You can say to him, Lord Jesus, forgive all my sins. I repent. I turn to you. Come into my life in the person of your Holy Spirit and renew me from inside. God said, anyone who comes and seek his forgiveness, he'll give it to them. But if you are a believer and you know the Lord Jesus Christ, look, you need to know, this is just a dress rehearsal, this life. Uh, if you take this life to be the be all and the end all, then you will be miserable. But the fact that we are just, this is a dress rehearsal for heaven, and that we're going to reign and rule with Christ for all eternity, and our whole universe is awaiting us. And so, Lift up your eyes. See Jesus glorified. Uh, read the book of Revelation. See how, how magnificent that view that God privileged John the Revelator to have. And that's going to lift you up. So let me pray with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you believing every word in this scripture from Genesis to Revelation, every word inspired by your spirit, your Holy Spirit, uh, our best friend, our companion, 
Father, forgive us, the believers, when we have grieved and quenched the Holy Spirit. May we ungrieve him even now and turn to you with all of our hearts, believing that you're the God of the impossible, that you're God of mercy and grace. You don't only have few graces and few mercies, you are rich in grace and you're rich in mercy. So pour your grace and your mercy upon your servants who are watching right now, those who are hurting, those who are worried, those who are anxious, those who are in need of financial uh, 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 help right now, those who need healing, for whatever the need may be for your church, revive your church, strengthen your church. So Lord Jesus Christ, we would not be ashamed in the day of your return, but indeed be prepared just like those five versions who were prepared when, when, when the bridegroom returned, I have the oil, the oil is in the lamp, the oil of the Holy Spirit ready lit so that when you come back, we are all ready. Revive us again, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Uh, Dr. Michael Yosef, it is such an honor that you join us today. We thank you for sharing as part of this program. Ward, as always, it's a privilege to have you on the show today. Uh, Dr. Michael, we're looking forward to joining you on Saturdays and Sundays on God TV. Thank you so much for joining us today. Amen. Thank you for your partnership. <laughs>